Hi, photographers. I am Kita of Kita Explorer Photography, and I'm here today to answer a video request from Michaela. Her request was how to get photos from your device to your computer. So I'm gonna give you four different things to consider for yourself in this video. So let's get into it. And before we do, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. It is free for you to do so. It helps me provide more and better content to you in the future. And if you already subscribed, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Now let's get into today's video. First up, a lot of you probably have a smartphone, whether it's an iPhone or Android. You can easily connect your smartphone and get photos off your phone by just taking the cord that came with the phone and connecting it to your computer. Now, mind you, most computers or most phones have maybe a USB but there is a USB-C lightning cord, so you may have to have the right adapter to connect in your computer, which you can easily get off of Amazon. But you can connect it into your computer. There may be a specific program that pops up or a program that you have to download on your computer so you can easily export the photos off your device onto your computer. Now, I don't know about Android because I am not an Android owner, but for iPhone, if you connect your phone to the computer, there is an actual iPhotos application that will pop up where you can easily export, check and export the photos that you want off your phone onto the computer and you can store them there or use them for your video or whatever you wanna do. And this goes for both photos and videos. Next up, for iPhone users, you can use the AirDrop function. With this function, you have to be near the device you're trying to AirDrop it to. So I could pick up my phone and click on AirDrop and you have to make sure you have the right airdrop settings because I know I have my settings fixed to only my contacts can airdrop me, but make sure you have that correct before you go and do it, but you can airdrop your photos and it's gonna go over Bluetooth to your computer, but you have to have a Mac book in order to do this, to connect it with your iPhone. I'm not sure if there is a Windows capability for that, but, and so you can look that up, but it's very easy to sync the Apple iPhone to the computer with AirDrop. You can send photos and videos over and it comes out in just the same format it is on my phone. And again, I don't own Android, so I don't know if there is an option for that. If you own Android, let me know in the comments if there is an option for that to send photos or videos over Bluetooth to a computer. Now say you want to move things from a camera to your computer. So photos or video from your camera to computer. You also have two options here. The first option is to take out the SD card from your camera and insert it into the SD card slot on your computer. Now my MacBook is small and I've noticed other computers not really having all of that stuff on there. You usually have to buy an attachment these days. So I bought an attachment from Amazon so I can insert my SD card into the slot and it automatically opens up into another folder on my computer. From that folder, I can copy and paste my photos or videos from the camera on to my external drive or my computer, wherever I want it to be or work with those photos and videos in some type of production purposes. Next up, you can do the same thing with the camera but using a cord. You can use the cord to connect the camera to the computer. You may have to have a program installed depending on your camera, and you can pull photos and videos off the camera that way. This is an option I don't really use for my camera, but I know I have done it in the past. I mean, the past, past, long time ago. And the last option, this also depends on the camera, and it's gonna be on more newer cameras. So if you have an older camera, you're probably not gonna have this option. But newer cameras do have Bluetooth options and options to send your photos from your camera to a device. So you may wanna do that. You can send it to your phone and send it to your computer. You can send it to your computer from the camera. And that's a nice option if your camera has that capability. So that's the fifth one. I forgot about that. I thought about that as I was doing this video. <laughs> now, what I prefer is if I'm using my smartphone for photos or video, you know, you always have your smartphone, so you're always capturing something. And I want to get stuff off my phone or I want to use it to create a YouTube video or whatever it may be. I really love to airdrop over. I don't have to worry about a cord 
and I can just easily watch it just move over and it goes pretty quickly with no issue. So I love doing AirDrop from my iPhone to my MacBook and then I always love using my SD card, taking it out of my camera and putting it directly in my computer to pull things off the memory card onto the computer. So those are my preferred options for transferring photos and videos from a device to my computer. Okay, photographers. So let's just recap. There are five, not four. There are five different ways to pull, think, pull photos or videos from your device to your computer. If you're using a smartphone, you have two options. You can use a cord to connect it to the computer, or if you have an iPhone, you can airdrop the photos or videos to your computer, and it has to be a MacBook. Nice. Now with the camera, you have three options. You can use the SD card and put it directly in your computer to export your photos and videos to your computer. You can use a cord to connect your camera to your computer. Or if your camera is newer and have the capability, you can just send the photos from your camera to your phone or computer, whatever device you can connect it to. So those are the five different ways you can export your photos and videos from your device to your computer. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit that like button. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. It is free for you to do so and it helps me provide more and better content to you in the future. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. If you have any requests for future videos, please leave that down below in the comment box. Please make sure you share this video with your friends, family, and social media networks. And if you are interested in purchasing a print to help decorate your space, which will also help me in my channel here on YouTube, please visit kidexplore.darkroom.com. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day or night wherever in the world you are. Bye.